Delta and Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardat Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardat Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. I heard you talking about us. What do you want? Please, please. We're all friends here. There's no need for language of that sort. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course. But it's paying work. I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Specifically, the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good luck, my friends. Sorry, a fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I'm looking into your daughter's death. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm working for Arya. Are you ready to answer my questions? I don't care if Arya sent you. You're asking about my nephew. That's what matters. No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. 
I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. She's gone. And nothing will fix that. Why did this happen? She never hurt anybody. We need to look in your daughter's room. Nothing will be disturbed. Everything will be just as she left it. <laughs> Thank you. I'll examine her things. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. <sighs> Am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just... When we dance and the Halex is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a, a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then, the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the oldest entry. Hey, Diary. Cycle 34, Orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then, the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their people. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds like my kind of a sorry. You joke, Shepard. But for all your might, you will be in great danger. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for fifty years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. <laughs> She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. 
time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Neff made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it. But I'd never part with it. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morant will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Say they were her favorite band. I wanna. I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this is sorry, digs them like you wouldn't believe. I can score way out of my league, you know? You gotta help me. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Come on, baby. I can pay. I'm a good tipper, too. I told you to stay away. Don't be like that. I got creds. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. You want in on this transaction? Hey, I don't care if it's you or this bitch. I just like good times. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. Hey. Hey! 
I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. I guess they'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. Can you back that up? We go out to the alley, only one of us comes back in. I'm just trying to have a drink here. No need to get all excited. Damn. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? You tell me. <laughs> I can't tell you why you're special. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that, you know? What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. What do you think about the violence in vids? It seems fake to me. I don't see the point. I sensed it. You're acquainted with the real thing. As are you. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him.
I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. I want you. I kill for you. Anything you want. Shh, darling. Just relax and hear my words. Marin. Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother, you made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Lauren! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. They are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <laughs> This place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Let's go. 